Hello, welcome to Culture Shock. My name is Alex Taylor, and today we are talking to Mr. Graham Thompson of the Anime Book Club. How are you doing, Graham? Hey, it's a pleasure to be here. Thanks for having me on the show. Good. I mean, it's not like you haven't been here before, but, you know, I, what I, I, are I guess... What are talking about? <laughs> what, is it, what would this be, nepotism or... I, I anyway. Some, nah, I don't know. I don't What's know what up, I mean. guys? Welcome back to the Anime Book Club. Here talking about uh, Grant's show Anime Book Club. So he is with a group called Anime Unlocked. And well, can you tell us a bit about Anime Unlocked, Graham? So Anime Unlocked is a um, well, it's an app and a website mm -hmm. um, founded by David Vincent and Bryce Pappenbrook. Hmm. So the kind of the, the goal, or at least like the uh, the idea of the website, is that it's a, a website, it's an app created by voice actors, mm -hmm. um, and the goal is to. Like uh, I don't know, like generate like discussion or just like get fans of of cartoons, of anime, of video yeah. games, like talking to and involved with the voice actors that make the the shows and stuff and make the, the characters. Um, it's a pretty <laughs> like I got um, the app. I guess dating this video, um, it, it launched at least the, the Facebook page launched last May, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and then the app for iOS launched. Two months ago, uh, oh, wow. early September, early September, yeah. I believe. Um, nice. And they're currently getting it ready for Android. Um, mm -hmm. Hopefully, that's up maybe by this time this video comes out, or yeah. hopefully in the near future. Um, nice. But yeah. Um, cool. And I remember you mentioning before that you've actually streamed through their app. Yes, I have. I am. If you go on the app right now, um, it's mm -hmm. all voice actors. It's all people with lots and lots of talent. And then mm -hmm. there's me. Like I'm randomly on there as, as as Graham Thompson. Yeah. And then there's more voice actors, talented, really cool people. And then Graham Thompson. And <laughs> I mean, it's. That's not to say you don't have any talent. I guess just you're maybe. <laughs> it was kind of surreal seeing yeah, like definitely. David Vincent, Bryce Pappenbrook, Jeremy Lee, Graham Thompson. Graham Thompson. <laughs> Your name is up there, sir. It's, um, it, it's, it's very nice company to be with. <laughs> definitely. And would you consider this like a possible foray into voice acting yourself? Since you have all these contacts, you're speaking with all these people who are part of the community. Do you think that would... Well, is it something that you'd be interested in in the first place? Of, of course. Mm -hmm. I mean, so right now I'm currently at college studying to get a mechanical engineering degree. Yep. Um, that is my, my, my passion. I love, I love my engineering work. I love mm -hmm. all the stuff I do there, but there's, it's my, my hobby or at least my, my, <laughs> I'd love to make it a hobby. Yeah. Um, it's sort of like a secret aspiration is I'd love to be a voice actor at some point in the near future. Definitely. Um, I feel like voice actors have one of the coolest jobs out there. Yeah. Um, there's so much work and time and just dedication that, 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 that these people put into their, into their, into their trade into their 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 art their their love yeah um and it's something that i don't i don't think i have it to make it quite as a career like i don't think i could if i were to drop everything to become a voice actor i think i'd probably crash and burn and end up a starving artist but um yeah but that's not to say that you wouldn't be able to pursue it like maybe start it out on the side see where it goes if it builds up then let it turn into something else that would be amazing if that yeah. were to happen um, and I mean, I, I've, I've looked into, I've done some like small research into the, uh, into the field and like, um, it's, it's a very, very niche market because mm -hmm. voice acting at the core of it, it is acting. You are an yeah. actor. Um, and, but it, it's, it's a very specific field that is kind of hard to get into. you got to know people. Yeah. You um, got to have contacts. And you know what, if, if Bryce, uh, enjoys my, 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 my video series enough and, I don't know if they tolerate me for long enough. Maybe I'll earn a couple contacts within the uh, the unlocked. Um, I don't know the unlocked yeah. like, universe, the unlocked people. I've already met people on the page. Like I, the unlocked page is full of amazing people. There's so mm -hmm. many really really cool people on there. Yeah, um, I've become friends with the mods there. They're awesome. Nice. Um, shout out to the mods. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Shout Mod out to discovered. Uh, <laughs> yeah, to the to Michelle, Matt, and Lauren. Um. But I mean, like, it, it's a very, very welcoming page. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I joined it because I was a fan. Yeah. Like, back in, what, in June? I think it's when I joined. I joined before, like, I was, like, one of the first thousand people to join. 
Nice. Um, and I joined purely as a fan. Yeah. I frequent it just kind of like liking posts, commenting on stuff, seeing what people are doing. Like I, I was a fan at first, and then someone. Well, I guess if we're gonna go back to like the advent, like the the origins of the anime book club. Mm-hmm. Um, of course, like you, Colin, and Michael. Um, mentioned a while ago like hey hey Graham why don't you do like an anime podcast where like I don't know you talk about like a show every week or like we'll call it Granime <laughs> <Grand> <sighs> hey if you don't do that name I'm stealing that name why is it called Granime <laughs> well you see there is this guy named Graham well it's not yep. even your name yep but and of course, like I, I, I pushed that away. I was mm-hmm. not about that. But you yeah. know what? When uh, someone on Unlocked mentioned like a book club, or like I got talking to people on there about like a weekly, like or biweekly, like hey, let's all get together and watch a show yeah. over two weeks or whatever. And like people were like, well, who's going to organize it? Who's going to put this all together? Yeah. And I was like, I'll do it. <laughs> it's mm-hmm. all like fun. Yeah. So I, I contact one of the mods. And I'm just like, hey, I have this cool idea for like a, a book club thing. Like we can just get people together and talk about a show and watch, yeah. like, watch it at the same time. And um, the mod I talked to was like, yeah, sounds cool. I'll pass it on to the admins. Um, he passed it on to the admins. Like a day passed and I'm like, okay, no I haven't heard shit. back, whatever. Maybe they're busy or they yeah. didn't like the idea, whatever. But then I get contacted back. He was like, yeah, like uh, here, like here's how you contact the admins. Like go talk to them about your show. Uh, they really like it. I'm like awesome nice. <laughs> that sounds great that's awesome i go and i talk to the admins and they're like yeah like how would you feel turning this into a video series and i'm like because my original intention was like what if i just make a post every week or every two weeks where like i just write about it write about the show yeah and then just do a like a, a by like a text um yeah. conversation mm-hmm. and they're like yeah we want you to make a video and i'm like uh call it alex michael how do i do this help me <laughs> Well, and I think since the inception of it, like, it's really come a long way, especially with, like, the amount of fans that you've gotten from it. Like, you've – it's kind of – I mean, I, I'm a member of this group as well, and it seems like it's kind of become just, like, a weekly staple. Like, hey, so what, is, what are we discussing this week? Um, I mean, the people there are awesome. Like, yeah. it's, it's – to think – establishing that I am not a voice actor. I am not the reason why people are in this group. People are in this group – because they love voice actors. They love yeah. video games, anime, cartoons. Um, they're in this group to socialize and interact and get to, like, I don't know, keep up with, with voice actors. Mm-hmm. But yet there's, there's still, like, there's a small group of people that, like, hey, anime book club's kind of cool. Hey, yeah. this, this Graham Thompson guy? He's, he's not too bad. Kind not of too bad, I guess. Not too bad, I guess, you know. The music's then, okay. Like, Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The music's the best part. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> um, but yeah, but like, yeah, I have a small, very, very emphasis on the small, mm-hmm. like cult following. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, you got to start my... somewhere, and that's more than a lot of people have. So. And you know what? Like, it's it's so you mentioned or this I mentioned the app, and you mentioned like this on the streams I do. So like, I mm-hmm. do make a video every every week actually mm-hmm. that goes up on the Facebook page. But then I also do a stream on their on their app every every week now. Yeah, and I do surprise streams every now and again if I'm mm-hmm. doing something funny or cool or whatever. Yeah. Um, where like, um, but like during my main streams, I just I just talk. <laughs> I just kind of spout nonsense. I I say like, hey, you know, '90s shows were really good. Like, you know, like the old Cartoon Network and Nickelodeon shows, and then like to people like, yeah, in chat are yeah, like, yeah, I remember that and this show and this show and then. Yo, know, Teen Titans and SpongeBob yeah. and Doug and Rugrats yeah. and and then like these are my people. Yeah. <laughs> but literally Building like, a community. Like, and like I mean my my streams don't have much like direction or really yeah. like there's it, it it's literally just me sitting in front of a camera talking. I and, mean in this day and age what content isn't just someone sitting in front of, front of a camera and just talking? It's fair. Um, and I think I have the numbers. Uh, my last stream, I think we hit eighty people. Really, that's awesome. <laughs> so like, it's was, it's growing. It's it's very humbling. <laughs> yeah. Well, and it, see, uh, you yeah. and I have talked about this ourselves. Like, you are developing like a personality around this kind of idea that you had created in this community, which now well, a growing community. But now you're just adding another staple to it. You know. Mm-hmm. And, and it's I mean, nice. Oh, go ahead. 
what am I, like I don't <laughs> I can't emphasize how humbling it is definitely how it just like I don't know it, it's 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 also just really it's really special unlocked yeah. is something really special to me it's a really really cool it really, really cool just set up yeah. thank you so much to David and to Bryce for making this because thank you David like, and Bryce I, I haven't met you but thank you <laughs> But I feel like I have one of the coolest jobs out there. That, Definitely. Like, that you're not getting every, paid for. I need to be paid for this. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that you do. Every no, week, I get to just, like, make a video. I get yep. to sit down, record, and then edit a, a, a fun video. Mm-hmm. Um, post it on Facebook. I don't know. Uh, like, I mean, the most recent video, like, about 10 people, 10, 15 people, like, comment in the actual, the, the Facebook like post live. itself. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Commenting on like the show itself, mm-hmm. and then a good amount of people show up for the stream and just sit around, and say hi to me. We talk about the kitten filter all the time. We talk yeah. about. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's and on on top of that though, the other super like, first of all, yeah, the fact that like there's there are these random people on the internet that I've never met before come out and talk to me and mm-hmm. watch my stream and just hang out but also like on in addition to that every discussion video i make the people mm-hmm. at unlocked the admins that i'm in contact with they 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 find a, a voice actor or actress or someone that just works in the industry mm-hmm. and they forward the questions that i make for the book club they pass them on to the uh the guest star basically mm-hmm. and they record a short segment and i get to put it in my video nice. like it's <laughs> Like it, it, it was super surreal in the yeah, very first definitely. episode when I got videos from Eric Kimmerer and Bryce Pappenbrook. Yeah, well, I mean, of, since I mean, since at least one of them was already in the group, it makes sense. Yeah, but, but still, it's like you, this is like an opportunity that like not every person is gonna get to like even if you aren't talking to them directly, like you you're still having a kind of conversation with them. Then you're bringing the conversation out for a larger discourse. And it's exactly, and it's like I. It, it, it's crazy that the questions that like that I come up with like when I watch a show I think like what about this I have this yeah. question about this show mm-hmm. and then I get to actually pass that on to the people that worked on it the people that I look up to the people that I think are really cool yeah they get to answer them and it's like it's I mean of course there's a mock is the middle man but it's 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 a step away from me like interviewing these people so it so we were talking about building a community and structuring things around it. So in a podcast that actually me and Mr. Colin Parker are in, so, you know, you, you start interviewing people in your own group and then you start like crossing references and stuff. Um, we have a podcast called Journey Under 30 where we discuss people who are on the Forbes 30 Under 30 list, their journey to it. And one of the biggest things that we've seen so far is finding a way to build a community. Like in our first episode, I talk about a Manit, Manit Ahuja, or I think it's Mani Ahuja. She, I, I, I don't want to go into a t- too much of her stuff, but she found a way to build a community around the idea of a hedge fund where like not all, like you need money, big money to get into it, but like there mm. wasn't a lot of information outside of it, or at least like in one spot but then she created the squawk box a show on i think it's fox don't don't kill me hate me if i for if i get the name wrong but like where a lot of these like big names in the field they give their opinions on stuff and sometimes it has big effects on the market so not to say that this would have a big effect on the market but you're still finding a way to build a community around something that a lot of people care about and that a lot not a lot of people will get answers to their questions for so i find that really cool it's <laughs> when I think back on like the list of people that mm-hmm. like I've had on on my show, it's <laughs> it just gives me tingles. It's just, definitely it, it just puts a smile on my face. Yeah, to think that like I, I, it's uh, but but a part of it's a, it's such a niche thing. It's like these, these these names don't have a lot of impact to like the like the vast like population. Like voice actors are kind of a, a niche, like a niche, like talent. They're a niche, yeah. like group of people, and it's there's kind of a small group of people that kind of follow them big time. That like, like really, I don't know. It's you don't you don't. There aren't a lot of people that like when they watch a show, they, they recognize they the say, voice actor oh. for this and that. Oh, so I, well, I mean, there are. 
I don't want to say there are two, there are few enough that you can recognize, but like after, like especially if you're like in the field enough, like if you watch enough anime, then you're gonna to start to find voices that sound similar. Yep. Um, but that's not to say, I mean, like there's voice acting in any kind. Well, I mean, this is kind of a dumb observation, but like in anything, there's gonna be voice acting. Like with, um, like with Payday Two, like with every time they bring on a new heister, like Get they the fuck up. Yeah, like they need to update. Like, like I think they're up to like four, they're going to be up to like sixteen at this point, and then they need to go back through all the old voice actors and be like, "Hey, can we re-record some lines? We added some new people." Mm-hmm. So, unless people just decide not to, but um, yeah. So I, mean, I oh, go ahead. Well, it's because I mean it's it's just like I I can't reiterate enough like how it just I don't know I I really look up to like the voice acting industry. I think it's a very very cool like mm-hmm. role. To, it's a cool. Just job, just yeah. Be getting paid to to, I don't know, to vocally perform. It's yeah. just it's 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 amazing that people get that opportunity. It's yeah, really cool. Definitely. So I guess we'll go to the dumb questions. I might ask if Colin can do like a yeah. really cheesy intro for this. Um. So if you could voice any character, who would that be and why? Oh boy, if I could voice any character. Yeah. Well, of course. So, so growing up, being a typical whatever, like anime teen, or even like younger, like whatever ten year old that was into like cartoons specifically, yeah. like I mean, American and Japanese, a little bit of both, whatever. Yeah. Um, but growing up, loved shows like Dragon Ball, like Yu Gi Oh and Pokemon. Um, I would love to be Ash, Ash Ketchum. Mm-hmm. Like I, I don't know. Like he just, it's. I, first of all, because Pokemon is amazing. I love Pokemon so much. Yeah. I understand people have their own quarrels with the the anime because I mean, Ash is <laughs> a terrible Pokemon trainer. Yeah, but you a terrible know what? person. Like, I could make him better with my voice. That is not to to, to, to bash on. Uh, what's her name? The voice is Ash. Ah, I forget her name. Um, this isn't looking she, good, Graham. Forgetting her name. Uh, <laughs> quick, <laughs> wiki, it up. wiki, wiki, wiki. I, I, I get a quick quick look up. Um, but I would. I would I would just love to get the opportunity to voice like Ash or voice like Red, um, even though no uh, who's Red? Uh, is, is Ver- Veronica, Veronica Taylor. Veronica, Veronica Taylor. Taylor. There it is. Who voices Red? Is that is that Bryce Pappenbrook? Is that Bryce Pappenbrook? I actually Are you say, saying because the thing is Eric Kimmerer is um is blue. Um, it is Bryce Pappenbrook. I was right. <laughs> so, so, so basically, you're saying you're better than Bryce Pappenbrook. Um. I'm not going to actually, like, those words are not going to leave my mouth because they are false. <laughs> Bryce is a not only an extremely hilarious and just funny person, he's also a fantastic voice actor. Oh, yeah. Um, but, no, I would love, like, if, if I if I had the opportunity, I think I would, I would love to be Ash Ketchum or Red. Yeah. Someone in Pokemon. That'd be really, really cool. Or even, hey, I'd, I'd voice a Pokemon. Like, I'd do Pikachu. Whatever. I'd do whatever. <laughs> you, you, you know you just became a voice clip, right? That's that's probably yeah. Feel free to yeah, take that like half a second and just throw it everywhere. <laughs> Do a whole montage. <laughs> let's, take, let's take a user question. Looking we have into... users. No, I'm doing a randomly generated question. We're gonna say it's a user question. Conversation topic generator. Okay. Um, let me see. Let me find something that isn't dumb. Um. Oh fuck! Do you have any questions for me? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm yeah, who's your favorite voice actor or actress? Um, well, I'm not. I'm more of a what's the word? Debit? Is it debutante? Um, debutante or detente? I'm. Is it date? No, de, it's not detente. Um, I'm more of a. Detente? newbie to anime no, and voice acting. That, like, there are a couple shows that I like, but it's not like I can recognize, like, any, like, one voice actor over another, but if there were any, like, voice actor... Okay. If there the, was the any... Was partially sarcastic. <laughs> well, um, but if there was any voice actor that I really liked, I'd have to say it would be um, the voice actor for Chains and Payday 2. Let me see if I can... Why am I forgetting it? Uh, Damien Pointier, or... I, I forget how to pronounce his last oh. name, but... 
close enough, but like he's like I love his vo- his work in Payday too. He's done a lot of good work outside of that. He was in Sons of Anarchy. He was I think he was in a Marvel movie doing just a lot of cool stuff. And some actually going back to what you had said about when he's voiced a character, like I mean, a dream of mine would be voicing like a character in Payday too because I'm kind of a nerd, but. Anyway, oh, who's the dang it? Uh, what's his name? Uh, there's the the voice actor that's been in like every video game ever. That literally like you name a video game, and he's most likely been in it. Um, it's uh, it's not it's not Nathan Drake because that's Uncharted. Um, um, so I'm looking up crap. Troy Baker. Troy Baker's a big one. Steven been Bloom. A lot, a lot of video games. We're making really Le- Le- interesting Lang. content, aren't we? <laughs> Le- Le- Lex Lang is actually on Unlocked. Really? Yep. Yep. Oh. He has a channel. He does. He does streams. So, so okay. That that's where I was going. Yeah. Um, so also part of with the whole like the whole streaming stuff is that whenever I do a discussion episode, where, uh, like I said, we go with the voice actor actress to record like a short whatever three five ten minute like um, mm-hmm. excerpt. Yeah. Um, also what we've started doing for the past couple like discussion episodes is uh, when I stream, I'll stream for like 30 minutes to an hour, kind of just get a group of people together, all talking about the same show, talking about whatever. But then like f- at like a certain time, then like the voice actor, actress that was in the show will mm-hmm. also start streaming on Unlocked. And I say, all right, hey, they're streaming now. Let's all hop over to their stream and continue asking them questions about the show yeah. So like it's the, the these past couple we've we've done it for like three, um, three streams now, mm-hmm. where like it's been really cool to like ask people questions, like get their response for the show, mm-hmm. and then when they're streaming, ask them more questions, ask them about the show, ask them about like their theories about the characters or their favorite yeah. parts about the characters or what it was like to like be in the recording studio, um, how the AR director was, the, mm-hmm. I don't know, just the different, um, I don't know, like, like, like to be able to kind of go in depth about the show. Certainly. Um, which, again, I can't emphasize <laughs> how much fun I have with this, with this show, with this role. Certainly. And the cool things I get to do. <laughs> I'm almost... <laughs> Like I'm, I'm, I'm finally, I don't know. Like we're in a like a process now. We're in like a, a groove. It's now yeah. like a, I don't know. Like I've noticed with Unlocked, there are a couple like um, like like uh, like reoccurring shows, shows that have, um, like Sharmi Lee's um, Love and Light is a fantastic series. I love, <laughs> I love the videos that she makes. Mm-hmm. Um, and she posts every day. Uh, they're, they're little videos like kind of inspirational or motivational videos. Oh, I mean, here's, here's a funny story real quick. I, I just, just a funny whatever. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So the actual admins of the page, uh, it, they float around. They pass the, the account around. Isn't, there are multiple people that run the account. Mm-hmm. And Bryce is one of the people that runs the account. Um, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but uh, in the very first video I make, I made, I talk about the show, The Seven Deadly Sins. And I'm like, mm-hmm. this show has an, has an amazing like, uh, like, like set of voice actors. Like... We have, like, Erica Harlicker, Erica Mendez, Max Middleman, Eric Kimmermer, and Bryce Papenbrook. <laughs> and I'm like, and I submit the video for them to look at, whatever, and they're like, yeah, everything looks everything looks pretty good. We really like this. Um, the only thing I might say is, would it, uh, I think you mispronounced some of the VA's names. You should go back and double-check your pronouncing them right. And I'm like, oh, no, did I pronounce Erica Harlicker wrong? Oh, Uh-oh. I'm so sorry. I'll, I'll, definitely, I'll definitely recreate that. I'll definitely, like, um, mm-hmm. redo that. And they're like, no, you actually mispronounced Bryce Pappenbrook's name. And I'm like, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. And then there's there's the chance, and I I I don't know for sure, but I have the the the, the worst feeling that Bryce was the one <laughs> on the well, account at that time. And he's like, this idiot mispronounced my name. He doesn't even well, know like like he doesn't even know like who I am like. Mm-hmm. I freaking run this page, and I'm like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I mispronounced your name. I'm so well, sorry, you know, there's Bryce. only one way we'll find out, Bryce. <laughs> exactly. If you're watching this, I don't know why you would Tell be. Us but now. if you're watching this, yeah, uh, call me Graham Thompson or something. I don't know. I'll definitely if I ever meet, um, if I ever run into the guy, you know, and can actually have like a conversation about unlocked or anything, I'll definitely ask him about that because I feel like that'd, that'd be kind of funny <laughs> yeah. if he was the person on the other end. 
I, I love my job. <laughs> Thank you so much for taking the opportunity to speak to me about the Anime Book Club. Um, hey, it's my pleasure. Definitely. So, um, if people want to find you or more about the Anime Book Club, where can they go? So everything that I, um, every every video that I make is on Facebook, but it's mm -hmm. on the Unlocked page, which is a okay. closed group. Um, you have to request access, but I don't think they actually deny anyone access. It's just... Uh, they denied me. I don't... No, they, 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 <laughs> no, they didn't. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm pretty sure they don't deny anyone. It's just like once you get on the page, like if you cause trouble or if you if you're an asshole they'll kick you out but like it's a closed group so all posts are exclusive to that page um but yeah it's, it's called unlocked specifically anime unlocked mm -hmm. if you look it up on facebook you'll find all all the episodes there um also if you have an iphone as of right now if you have an iphone you can download the unlocked app just look up unlocked in the app store and it, it should pop up or we put um, a link to it in the description there you go and then um, my, my channel's on there. I'm the Anime Book Club on there. But also check out like check out everyone else because there are so many so many great channels on the Unlocked app. Um, and you can watch live streams for free and all that stuff. It's pretty pretty cool. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, there you go. Cool. Well, again, thank you for taking the time to speak to me. Um, we will put the links for all that stuff in the description below. Um, before we sign off, Graham, is there anything else that you would like to say? Yeah, I got a couple of thank yous I'd like to go through real quick. Um, uh, well, I'd like to thank uh, French Alexander, uh, Anime Unlocked, Colin Parker, Alex Taylor, Michael Palmer, The Scavengers Network, The Ukulele in the Background, Hawk's Mom, Soon Dated Character Development, Dr. Pepper, Antonin Javorak, Prepus of Genitals, or Lack Thereof, Fancy Tuna, Quasi Lesbian Ghost Killer Killers, and most of all, most importantly, you, Alex Taylor. Hey.